Hey, I'm Randy, and I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Here at the Cheap Audio Man, we don't feel like audio equipment should cost as much as a, an engagement ring, wedding ring set for your second or third wife. Maybe even your first wife. Actually, I think I'm going to walk that one back. There should be a new tradition. I've always felt this way. When a man or whomever gives an engagement ring to the people they want to marry, the opposite person person should get a, a stereo system of of equal or equal value, maybe a little bit lower, maybe like seventy five percent. I don't know how we're going to do that, but maybe we can write some letters to somebody. Engagement stereos for the other person not receiving the ring. Grab some coffee, sit down, let's talk about the Dolly Spectre ones. Oh boy. I had a lot of requests for some Dolly speakers. Found these on the Amazon. They look cool and I wanted to bring them in. But first, we have a sponsor, new sponsor. Sergio's duvet and fine pillowcases from fine materials. When you want to take a perfectly good blanket and cover up, cover it up with an inferior blanket and then have the person that's trying to put the perfectly good blanket inside the inferior blanket and you want to frustrate them to the point of not wanting to live anymore. Well, that might be a little much not wanting to get along with people anymore. Grab some Sergio's duvets. They've been taking the bed making process from three minutes to 30 minutes for 40 years. Sergio's duvets. Okay, Dolly, Spectre Ones. Woo wee. It's a handsome looking speaker. Let's talk about what it's made from. The woofer is paper and wood fiber. Tweeter, soft dome, approximately 0.83 inches or 21 millimeters for uh, the people that use the metric system like the rest of the world. Um, six ohms, rated at 59 to 26K, 83 dB. That sounds pretty low. I guess it is. I didn't have any problem driving these. From the SMSL 8018. It's like 40 into eight. Maybe 80 into 80 into four, something like that. Uh, the bottom line is they didn't have any issue driving these. All right, so what do they look like? They pretty handsome speaker. Standard grade wood, fake wood um, wrap, although this fake wood has some nice grain into it. A uh, little bit of a beveled edge on the front. Um, looks like the baffle kind of is recessed into the uh, enclosure a bit. Rear ported, four inch uh, woofer or so. Nice binding post, good looking speaker. Uh, feels very solid. Plastic uh, port um, and port uh, flange. They're not like one, one piece though. So the port actually sticks in the flange, but very well made. Uh, how much are they? 250 bucks currently on Amazon. Okay. They got some cool, uh, I like it. I like the way they look. It's kind of like a rusty colored woofer. Yeah. Cool wave guide with like Spider-Man webs on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who doesn't want Spider-Man webs in there? tweeter horn technically it's a horn i'm going to continue to say, say waveguide just because uh, that's how most people know it 
let's talk about sound stage and imaging. Okay, good vertical off axis. Why do I know that? Because I put them on the desk and I did not put them at ear level as far as the tweeter. I just kept them reasonable, kind of like what a normal human being would do. Very good. I then uh, kind of tipped them up at me, facing at me. Sounded good. You don't lose much uh, when you're vertical, when you're vertically off axis from the tweeter. You don't lose a whole lot. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Killing Strangers was great. Do, 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 do. And how I had these placed was I put these like I would think they would be used, which was on the edge of my desk, about eight inches from the wall, towed in directly at me. When you tow them in more aggressively, or as my friend Ron at New Record Day says, crossing the streams, you get better imaging and better soundstage. However, uh, with them pointing directly at you, you still get great imaging and great soundstage. Um, Killing Strangers wrapped around me when I go... Da, 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 um, wherever I may roam, you know, depending on how close these are to your sidewall, you'll get good sound staging. These didn't do as well, but to be fair, they also weren't as close to the uh, right wall boundary. Um, I just listened to them like I thought they would be used. Just on a desk. Okay. Uh, center image, very good. Uh, Fleetwood Mac, the chain, bass drum, boom, right in the middle, dead center. Uh, imaging, very good. Adele, hello, boom, right in the middle and back. Very good. Very good, very good, very good. Let's talk about bass. Mm, bass on these, surprising surprising man got a little punch a little, little punch from this little guy highway to hell there is i feel like a bump in the bass why because highway to hell uh should be a really tight um not almost not even a bassy feel to that bass drum i'm not kick drum i hate that word bass drum that's hit with a pedal that you actuate with your foot should be this is a little a little bit it's not as bumped as i've heard on a lot of speakers but it was a little bit bumped and that's great because i like a little bit of bump <laughs> uh, intergalactic here's where these little guys just blew me away all right so intergalactic as if you've watched any of my other videos by the beastie boys goes very low and like if you've got a sub in the car or a sub in your home theater and you turn that song on be ready to experience some low frequency wonderment so here's the cool thing about bookshelves you can use that song without a sub to test how smooth the bass roll off is because some speakers that are only rated down to 60, like, yeah, like this one, 59, some speakers that are only rated down to 59 will actually sound bassier or have fuller bass extension than a speaker rated down to 50 hertz. It all depends on the enclosure design, the port design, and whether or not and how much uh, an engineer or designer decided decided to bump that low end okay point being these have a very nice smooth bass roll off it kind of blew me away how good they actually were is a very good impression of the totality of your bass because it's still hitting those lower uh those lower frequencies it's just much much quieter okay very good i was really impressed probably the standout thing about this speaker that you know sticks in my head uh killing strangers uh same thing uh very well extended um usually you have to have a pretty big speaker to get the again the impression of the deepness of that song uh, metallica black album the whole thing very well done very nice very very good bass the paper slash wood fiber which i kind of thought paper was wood fiber 
I don't know if that's redundant or not. It sounded really good. Mm. Like the bass in um, uh, Nirvana, MTV, and Plugged, Dumb. Mm. Very good. It just had a just a slight warmth and richness to it. Don't I'm not saying the speaker's warm. I'm just saying those bass tones, those bass plucks. Very good. Very good. <laughs> oh yeah, when I had him on the desk, I was surprised at like how like they were putting out some vibrations into the desk. I had them up on some a roll of tape on one side and some uh, a little circular um, hair gel product like uh, pomade. So pomade on the left, uh, roll of packing tape on the right. Yeah. Let's talk about mid-range. Mm-hmm. Ooh, boy. King of Pain, Alanis Morissette, MTV Unplugged. Her voice was excellent. Um, the guitar out of the left speaker, just superb. It had detail, but yet body and just a, the, I don't like to use this word, but I don't know other, what other word to use it. The tonality. Okay, scratch that. The realism of the guitar was spot on. Mm-hmm. Spot on. Shoot to thrill. ACDC. Right speaker. Should be somewhat recessed. Or not recessed. Back. Well, maybe that's the same thing. Still should be clear and have a bit of body. Speakers that don't mid-range well will have that veiled and muffled. Not these. Not the Dolly Specters ones. Rooster. Allison Chains. Unplugged. Great detail in the harmonies. Uh, the guitar, very separated out from the vocals. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Ooh, Guitar on Lazaretto by Jack White. Um, was thick and full while maintaining that metallic crunch. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, Dolly. Great job. Uh, let's talk about Trouble. Treble. Here we go. Back to Rooster. Allison Chains. Great cymbal decay. A great ride cymbal. L uh, back behind left speaker. Oof, it was good. And the good thing, this is, um, I'm, hold on, I think that's my final thoughts. I don't want to ruin it. Uh, so let's go to Center Man by Nina Simone. Okay. Almost believable, i.e. almost, like if I close my eyes, I almost couldn't tell the difference between this speaker and an actual hi-hat. But I could, just slightly. Just slightly, okay? Uh, still one of, probably one of the best I've heard. Except for, like, the, the Elac Uni, Uni 52s. Uh, there will be time. Mumford & Sons, uh, good sense of air as well as like inhale like you can really hear the inhales mm, yeah yep 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 fantastic what are my final thoughts man well if you can't tell i kind of like this speaker um eulogy by tool very layered song it starts in with one layer then adds the next then at next then the next um it added each layer delicately and perfectly while maintaining separation and being able to differentiate all those layers even when everything started i think this is the perfect desk uh desktop speaker perfect uh, maybe a turntable set up in the office, I don't know, in your room, wherever, a little alcove. Wherever you don't have a lot of room for big speakers, okay? Uh, this is also great at low volumes. Uh, still has uh, 
bass presence still has detail at lower volumes uh i was listening uh about 70 db i would say uh near field i didn't really test these like I didn't really test these like 10 feet away or 12 feet away because, you know, I could do that. I could. Um, but I don't think that's the right usage for these speakers. There's a tool for every job. And I think this tool resides for near field listening and a desktop application. I mean, you can use these for surrounds. But I don't know why you would. They're too good for that. And you have to put them on a stand and some other stuff. I mean, there's other speakers out there with keyholes. and I mean, I don't know why you would waste these on surrounds. There's not a lot of info on surround speakers. P people are probably going to argue with that. But occasional bullet, car driving by from behind you, helicopters. Yeah. Don't use these. These are too good. Lazaretto. Again, Jack White. Mm. Amazing. All that song was amazing. I'm gushing, I know. But this is... So, the only other speaker that I've heard that comes uh, close, and I would say they're... In a lot of ways, they may be even. I think there's the Clips uh, RP400M. Okay? I like these better. I feel like these have a flatter frequency response is a more neutral speaker and is cheaper and looks super cool yeah so this is, this is my de facto recommendation for a desktop system i tested these again with the smsl ad18 i think that's a wonderful pairing okay that is an expensive setup for your desk so the SMSL is about $140. This is $250. So you're looking at about $400. However, let's say you go out and buy some, I don't know, powered monitors like Edifiers. The one with the sub out, R17 BTS. I have that speaker. So you get that, that's $150. Then you add a sub, you're at $250. So you're still saving about a hundred and fifty dollars they're not as good as these though they're just not um this was pretty incredible for this size to have the sound be as wonderfully accurate with presence and just an enjoyable experience to where oh also I wanted to say these these disappeared on me and that's not a common thing for me I mean that's a hard thing for me to kind of I don't know experience unless you know I have stuff like pulled way out from the wall and towed in just right and blah 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 and have it now I just threw these on the corner of my desk on a roll of packing tape and a thing of pomade hair styling gel stuff and they disappeared all right not finicky put them where you want enjoy them play around with toe in play around with i don't know how you lean them up or whatever great speaker great speaker if you're in the if you're in the market for uh a desktop solution and you want something uh, very compact and you've got the budget for these yeah yeah I haven't heard anything close to this mmm yeah in this in this package size package haven't heard anything close to it this makes me want to run out and buy the Spectre 2's I just hope they're as good as these. These are fantastic. Um, again, if your budget allows, great speaker. Great speaker. So uh, we have a Patreon here if you want to support us. Uh, if you use the links, I do get a commission off of that. That helps support the channel. What else? I have uh, a Twitter, at Cheap Audio Man. 
Uh, let's see what else. Facebook, Cheap Audio Man. If you're Patreon, there's a Facebook group. Uh, we do Zoom meetings on Sunday nights. Uh, have a new podcast with Ron at A New Record Day today. Just kidding. It's New Record Day. A lot of fun. We chit chat about audio and pretty much all about audio. Maybe about our histories. What we put in our coffee. Things like that. A lot of stuff going on. Between two speakers. That's a lot of fun too. Going to have a lot of cool guests come on that show. So. Don't binge watch Netflix or anything else. Binge listen. Get some streaming services and binge listen. And fill your soul with happiness. <laughs>